Hey guys, it's Kimberly from Keep the Tail Wagging. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a list of my favorite brands. And so I'm gonna to try to keep this brief and you can find more details about each brand over on my blog, Keep the Tail Wagging, and I will put a link to the post in the notes below. If you are looking for a very official list, um, I wanna encourage you to check out the list that's created by Susan Thixton over at The Truth About Pet Food. I'll put a link to that in the notes as well. That is something that I think is for people who are looking for very detailed um, particular things about brands and why the brands made the list. My list on the other hand is more of a personal list because it's gonna be about foods that I feed to my dogs, foods where I know the people behind the brand or foods where I've heard nothing but great things about the brand. So I'm gonna go over everything as quickly as possible because I'm sure you don't wanna sit here all day to see if your favorite brand is on the list, right? So let's get started. Um, the first, of course, is Answers Pet Food. And if you know Answers Pet Food, then you know why they're on the list. This is a fantastic brand. And the reason why I love them is because although I, Rodrigo has a beef, turkey, and chicken intolerance, he can eat the proteins from Answers, which um, are fermented. They have a ton of great products that my dogs can do. They're constantly sharing information. In fact, a lot of the people on this list all actively work in social media to educate pet parents about pet nutrition, and that's why they're on the list. Um, but Answers Pet Food, great company. The next company is Barf World. If you go over to their, to their website, you'll see that there is a wealth of information on there to help you understand all different aspects of dog health and nutrition. Um, I really love their food. I tried their lamb once and Rodrigo, who used to have a lamb intolerance, did really well on it. And um, if they were closer, I would definitely check out their food and feed their food um, here and there. I try not to feed pre-made raw because it is very expensive when you have five big dogs. But if I only had one dog, yep, they would be on my list. The next brand is Bone, the Bones and Company. The reason why I love them is because they're constantly flying around, visiting pet stores, educating pet parents about the raw food diet. They are on the phone helping people transition and they're introducing people to a keto diet for pets. And for those of you guys who don't know, a keto diet is often recommended for dogs diagnosed with cancer. It also helps with dogs with diabetes, dogs that have seizures. It's a really um, overwhelming diet to start if you're new to it. Although a lot of people who feed this way say that it's actually a lot easier than you realize. And um, so Bones & Co is a way to transition your dog to a keto diet without all of the stress of trying to figure everything out. And so I definitely suggest you check them out. The next brand is Columbia River Natural Pet Food. What I like about them is that they offer a lot of proteins that other people don't offer like rabbit, quail, and pheasant. I feed my dogs their quail. I buy it by the case. I love it. Um, another brand, Darwin's Pet Food. This is my, um, my main brand and they're part of my origin story. And the reason why they're on the list is because they are the ones that helped me transition to raw. And I credit them for helping me save my dog Rodrigo's life because he was going downhill fast on a diet of kibble. And I will put a link to our origin story in the notes so you can check that out as well. Darwin's is a local company to me. Um, my dogs do great on their food. And I love that this is a company that is so focused on helping people um, feed their pets a healthier diet. Greentripe.com is the next brand on the list. And what do I get from them? My green tripe. I love them, love them, love them. Um, I love their organ blend as well. It's, you know, it's less expensive to make my own organ blend, but it's really convenient to have their organ blend because I know that it's so nutritious and healthy and the people behind the company are pretty amazing as well. We have OC Raw. This is where I get my sardines. I like to get my sardines from them because they are actually my only source of a big, you know, I want to go quote unquote bulk of sardines. I buy it by the case. Um, but it's manageable because within the case, they're packaged with, I think, eight to 10 sardines per package. And I either feed them to my dogs whole or I grind them. 
the reason why OC Raw is on my list isn't just for the sardines. It's because every year that I see them at Super Zoo, they've come up with something really cool and amazing. And I don't know if you guys can hear that noise in the background, but my dogs are chewing on toys. So sorry about that if it's bothering you. The next brand is Raw Bistro Pet Fair. Raw Bistro, another brand I've met at Super Zoo. I have not fed their food, but I do buy their treats um, every year on uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. I will look to see if they have any good sales. And a lot of times they do. And I will buy a ton of their treats for my dogs. This is a brand that has a stellar reputation in the raw feeding community, which is why they're on the list. Another brand that has a stellar reputation is Raw Feeding Miami, but I have had the opportunity to try their food. And if you, if I sound like I'm getting excited, it's because I am getting excited. They sent me a huge case of food last year, 2018, and um, it took me months, like six months to go through all their food. And what they did is they sent me all the things that I just really don't try you know, like green lip mussels. I don't even know where I can get those here locally. Um, pork uterus, duck heads. I tried all these things and it made me not afraid to order them here and try them with my dogs. And so now I was able to expand my dog's diet to try new things without breaking the bank is actually saving me money by adding these new things to their diet. So raw feeding Miami, man, people can't stop talking about them. They love them so much. Um, the next brand is Raw Paws Pet Food. I like Raw Paws Pet Food because this is one of the few brands that offers regular discounts and sales of the products on their site. So if there's something that you like, um, check them out. You can sign up for their newsletter. That way you can get a heads up. They do free shipping and they have really great green tripe as well. The next brand is Scout and Zoe's. They started out as a treat company and now they offer carp treats and carp um, patties. And this is a fish that's an invasive species in many lakes in the US. And so Cindy has decided to make food out of them. And my dogs do really well on it. Um, I, they, she, um, oh gosh, forgive me. I just stumbled over myself. But anyway, Scout and Zoe's also offers other raw food. I haven't tried it. I've only tried the carp. If the name sounds familiar, yes, I have a dog, um, two dogs, Scout and Zoe. And yes, they were named after this company unintentionally, but it happened. Uh, the next brand is the Thogerson Family Farm. This is a local farm and this is where we get our rabbit from. They offer other proteins as well. I haven't tried many of them. Mostly I stick with the rabbit Love it, love the farm, love everything about them. If you live where I live in Western Washington, definitely definitely check them out. The next one is Vibrant Canine. Okay, so full disclosure. One of the owners of Vibrant Canine is one of my very best friends, Krista Powell, but that is not why she's on the list. She's on the list because this is a woman who is so passionate about helping people um, feed their dogs a diet of fresh food. She loves mastiffs and she lost several mastiffs to cancer and she just got fed up with it. So she started educating herself and learning more about feeding a different diet. And now she's moving on to help other people do that as well. She sits down with her new customers. She is there morning, noon, and night with answering questions, giving support, helping people transition. She is here for the animals, not for the fame, not for the popularity. I think if the raw feeding community truly knew what she did for her customers, man, they would be throwing a parade for her. She is truly an inspiration. And were it not for her, I wouldn't even still be blogging about raw feeding. She inspires me every single day because she reminds me that we're here for the animals. Um, the next company on the list is Wild Coast Raw. They are a local company as well down in Olympia, Washington. And what I love about them is that when you look at their food, it looks like food that you would make at home. When I make my dog's food, I primarily grind everything together along with the vegetables. Everything is mixed together. When I first opened up a package of Wild Coast Raw, I was like, this is my food. And that made me so excited because there's nothing weird or mysterious that they put in their food. This is really just great, great food. And finally, I have a few, you know, honorable mentions. And these are people that I've heard tons about. And if any of the other people on my list aren't brands that you can access, you may be able to um, 
buy from these three brands. My Pet Carnivore, okay. My Pet Carnivore, Hair Today, and Rossum Revolution. These are all amazing brands by amazing people um, offering amazing food for pets. And finally, I wanna mention Dr. Harvey's. This is a great brand for people who are brand new to raw feeding, who are looking for something to feed their dogs when they go on vacation or having something just different to add to their dog's diet. I personally buy their base mix paradigm and raw vibrance and alternate that with my fermented vegetables when I'm feeding my dogs. They offer base mixes, foods, um, supplements, treats, uh, fish oil, whatever you need, you can get from Dr. Harvey. So definitely check them out. And that is it. That is the list of my top pet brands. Um, if you want to see more details for each brand, again, check out the blog post link below. If you want a more official list, check out the truth about pet food link below. And do me a favor and head down to the comments and tell me what brand wasn't on the list that you were surprised didn't make it. Or do you have another brand that you love let people see that because maybe there are brands that I'm listing that other people don't have access to. And of course, if you have questions about brands or if you're curious if I've had experience with a brand, feel free to ask, I'll be honest. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.